Today we're gonna to be taking a look at NECA Toys, The Phantom, The Ghost Who Walks. This figure came out late last year, I believe. Uh, they went pretty quickly on store shelves. You can still find them from uh, time to time in like certain type of specialty shops. But I managed to snag one on eBay and I paid a decent price for it. Um, but I knew when I saw it, I just absolutely had to have it. Um, I grew up, I'm not that old. So <laughs> I'm definitely not one of the people that grew up with The Phantom, but I did uh, grow up watching the 1995 uh, Phantom film with Billy Zane. So that's pretty much my introduction to the character. I love the Phantom. I like uh, Billy Zane's interpretation of the character. And I thought he absolutely nailed it and brought the character to life. And speaking of brought to life, I think this figure does an excellent job of uh, doing justice to that character. Um, everything down to his suit, to his dual pistols, uh, this figure absolutely nails the look of the character, and I cannot wait to get this open and looked at. Okay, so this is everything that you get in the packaging. You get two muzzle flashes, as you can see here. You get both of his dual 45 pistols, signature pistols, two sets of hands, and you also get the skull of his ancestor, which he swears an oath upon to, perfect, to protect the weak and to protect people against Ming the Merciless. Um, you also get his signature whip, which is pretty cool. If you take a look here, it actually has a skull, which is really nice. This is just a bendable wire, very easily bendable wire, if you can see. Really cool. There's even a little tassel here. Now, you can't connect this. There's no place to connect it to his actual character, um, but it is a nice touch, I think. And the skull is extremely detailed. I mean, it even has a movable jaw, which is absolutely just crazy. This skull actually can also go on top of his head, too. It's a, it's a replacement head sculpt. And they did an excellent job with the detail on this head or skull. <laughs> and then as far as his pistols go, they are also highly detailed. I love these 45s, the extended barrel. Um, just, they look like marksman guns. And, and as you'll uh, remember, if you've ever seen the film, um, the, the Phantom did use them to that effect. To take, uh, instead of killing, he would use them to actually uh, just shoot the guns out of his enemy's hands because he was such an expert marksman. And then as far as the hands go, let's take a look. You can see he has his trademark rings, which are also highly detailed. Check that out. Very good sculpting on the fingers. You can see the individual fingernails. Uh, the wrist actually also pivot. I have not heated these up at all, so they are still probably quite stiff. All right. And then you have the other set of hands. Hey, come here, come here. <laughs> and then I guess this hand would be a reaching hand, or you can use it to actually hold the skull. Very well detailed and sculpt the veins on the the forearm or the palms and the back of the hands. Really good detail. Uh, I think they did a great job here. And then you have your muzzle flashes for the pistols, which are pretty neat. And they attach pretty easily. You can see there, we put it right in there. Like such. Oh, there's a little hair there. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. There's no trigger action or anything on the pistol. Um, but, I mean, that's not really necessary, I think. One thing I also want to note is, if you look on the back of the packaging, you can also see that his eyes do in fact glow, which is pretty awesome. So if you just place him under a UV light and turn off the lights, you'll find that not only does his eyes glow, but his belt insignia or emblem glows as well, which is really neat. So now let's take a look at the figure himself, or itself, himself. 
I mean, this is an absolutely amazing figure. Uh, the sculpt on the body is like peak superhero sculpt. I really do like what they did with the body for this character. And they actually reused this same sculpt uh, for many different uh, superheroes. They used it for the NECA Predator Batman, as well as the Flash Gordon and Ming the Merciless as well. The detail is absolutely incredible. You can even see some of the stubble on his face. Yeah, they did an absolutely amazing job with this sculpt. Down to the boots, the musculature, and the trunks just really kind of tie everything together, I think. They really are a nice touch. Um, I would imagine that the uh, this suit, um, for practical reasons, would probably be waterproof and maybe have some degree of flame retardant. Just because, I mean, being the being someone such as the Phantom, you probably would need such protection against people who really do think that you are an immortal uh, Avenger. Um, so you would definitely want to probably take care of your body, I would imagine. All right, so now let's take a look at the physical manipulation and articulation. I've not heated this up at all, so it is still very uh, stiff right out of the box. Torso, is, uh, the app crunch is pretty good. I would say it's pretty good. Head rotation, head rotates all the way around. Saw a nice ball joint, so you can get some really nice poses out of them. You have the double jointed arms, wrist completely rotate as well. As you can see, there's some thigh swivel here, which is nice. Double jointed knees. And then also the torso does fully rotate, which is nice. So you can get a nice striking pose. And then also you get the articulation in the toes, which is nice for additional posing. And one thing also is there's a boot cut for a swivel there and then ankle rotation as well. NECA does a kind of a unique uh, take on ankle rotation, which is something I haven't seen uh, on other figures, but I do like it. Actually, I take that back. The Diamond Select figures also utilize a very similar technique too. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at some of the additional uh, hand pieces for additional types of poses and, and grips. Uh, as you can see, they should just pop out. If you give them a little twist, just be a little gentle, they come right out. So we're going to try out these nice trigger fingers because what is the Phantom without his trusty dual pistols? And they go in very easily. All right, let's take this other one out. Not too tough, you know, just apply the necessary force. You don't have to do anything too crazy. And it goes right in there. Bam. So as you can see, it's like he's pointing. <laughs> And we can probably throw in some guns. Let's probably throw in some guns here to make him the ultimate Avenger. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. And the guns fit in pretty easily. I would say the hands are not too tough. The plastic is pretty malleable, so you shouldn't have any difficulty getting them in there. Look at that. Looks absolutely baller. Man, this is, a, this is a very nice looking figure. I am so happy that I got this. Um, definitely recommend that these figures will probably shoot up in price. So if you're interested in, in it, I would probably, probably jump on that. All right. And we can also attach our muzzle flash to give it that real action packed look. 
Yeah, look at that. He's looking pretty stellar right there. Ready for action. Oh. All right, and here he is holding his whip hand, I guess you would call it. We can actually take the whip and it slides right in there pretty well. And this is just a metal cord. A cord. It's a metal wire which can be posed and bent to different shapes and forms. I don't think I'll be displaying him with it, but it is pretty cool that they included this. It's actually not terrible. It probably make, might make a cool action shot, actually. Yeah, and then his holsters also have his skull insignia on there, which is really sharp. I think it's a great touch, as they were in the film, and they fit snugly right into his little holsters, which is a soft plastic material. Really sharp, really badass, and as you can see, the the barrel is visible from the bottom of the holster. Badass. Alright, and then also, you can remove this headpiece with a little force. And let's see if we can get it off. Alright, I managed to get it off. And we can put on Skeletor! I don't know. <laughs> That's my terrible Skeletor impersonation, but we should be able to get it in there. Well, it's not really wanting to go in there. Let's see if I can get it on there. All right, so I had to go use the blow dryer because this sucker was pretty tough to get on. So let's see how we are now. Fits right on there with a little heat. Looks pretty sharp. But yeah, I thought that was pretty neat that they included that. You can actually wear the skull, and the jaw is articulatable as well. Hello! <laughs> so yeah, I thought I think that's pretty cool that they included that. And the original head sculpt. Oh, wow, hang on, I'm gonna go blow dry this as well. All right. So now it should fit on there just fine. Bam. Yeah, I would definitely recommend applying a little bit of heat because this plastic uh, is definitely not the easiest to get back on. As you can see, I think it's on all the way. Oh, nope. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. He is ready for action. And, uh, yeah, that is... NECA's The Phantom 85th Anniversary Edition figure. What an excellent job they did. This is one of the, the, I would say, my favorite that I've collected so far out of all the NECA figures that I currently have so far that I've opened. Um, he is absolutely awesome, um, and I hope that we see more from this line. I would really like to see a shadow figure. I don't know what the deal is with the rights to the shadow, but I wouldn't imagine they'd be too difficult to get a hold of. But a shadow would be absolutely awesome. I grew up listening to some of the old serials uh, on road trips <laughs> um, of the shadow back in the day. Yeah, I feel pretty old. And there you have it. NECA Toys 85th Anniversary Edition of the Phantom, The Ghost Who Walks. This is an awesome figure. I highly recommend picking this one up. They are going pretty fast. I haven't seen too many online. People are definitely holding on to this, so if you want one, I would highly recommend you hop on it as quickly as possible. Stay tuned. Uh, I have many more reviews in the pipeline. Uh, many more toy hunts, obviously, because it just never stops. Uh, and Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what I can do to improve these videos. Uh, yeah. And you all have a great day.